Hey friends, I'm Steven and this is my channel, Signal Up Productions. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to how easy it is to connect this Digitrax LNWI module to our command station and acquire a locomotive with our cell phone app. So we're going to get right into that in a second. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you got any comments along the way, leave those down below. Let's get going. The Digitrax LNWI stands for LocoNet Wi-Fi Interface. It's a module that is a self-contained wireless network. This is so that if you don't have a Wi-Fi network at your home, then this will allow you or your friends to connect their cell phone and use an app called uh, Engine Driver to connect through their command station and acquire and operate locomotives with the ease of their cell phone. The connections to this module are really simple. In the package, it comes with the instruction manual, the LNWI module, a two-foot local net cable, and then the PS14 power supply, which goes up to our, uh, our plugged into our outlet. Uh, out of the box, it will work just as it is. Uh, there's some configuration considerations if you are going to be uh, using multiple modules, uh, at multiple LNWI uh, units, and that's all in the uh, instruction manual. But otherwise. It, this is one of the few plug-and-play modules that you'll uh, be able to just use almost right out of the box. There is the uh, op switch and the uh, ID switch there to uh, plug in a throttle and uh, use options, op switch switches to uh, configure some of the different choices. But uh, for most modelers, they're not going to need that. Now, one module will support about four mobile handheld units, cell phones, tablets, uh, similar situations. You're going to plug in the local net cable. To your local net doesn't have to go to the command station you can go to any device that has a local net connection plug in the ps14 to our outlet so that it comes on and that's it it's already broadcasting a wi-fi signal so if i go here to my cell phone to my wireless choices i could see my home wireless network but i connected to our digitrax network which is the ln local net server which is what's being broadcast from that little module. So by connecting to that, uh, I'm, I'm, it shows that I'm connected. So if I go into my engine driver app, then I can see my choice right there, the LN server. Connecting to that allows me to uh, select a locomotive. Engine number 563 is the one I'm using to test all this with. And I have acquired it. It's just that easy. All right, that's it for this video. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, this box really is plug and play. Out of the package, you plug it into the local net, you plug it into the outlet, and you've got a uh, private wireless network uh, that's only exclusively connected to your train layout. Then it allows your wireless devices, your, your phones and your tablets to connect their app. Uh, generally, uh, engine driver if you're using a, an Android based device. I do believe there is an app available for iPhone users. I don't know because I don't use iPhones, so you can research that. And uh, by selecting the network that is created by the LNWI, uh, it allows you to control trains with your wireless device. The advantage to using this module is that it's a little bit easier. As you see, we just plugged it into the network and it just worked. Uh, and it doesn't require a computer in your train room. If you do have a computer and you are already using a uh, USB connection to your command station, like a PR4, PR3, something like that, then by running JMRI and starting that uh, Y throttle server 
on the JMRI software, um, that may be a better option. But if you don't have that as an option, the LNWI certainly is a great little choice. Um, makes things really easy to be able to add wireless connectivity to your personal cell phones. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.